Good morning, good morning. It's Friday. <laughs> Need to cut half my face off. Good morning, Janine, Jesse, Jennifer. Good morning. All right, it's just about six o'clock now. We're going to wait about another minute. Let a few people jump on and then we will get started with chisel. I'll go over what that means for us this morning. If you're wondering why I'm cutting half my face off, it's because I am, uh, I'm storing snacks in my cheek for later like a chipmunk. <laughs> No, half of my face is swollen. Isn't that nice? Liz, are you on? Okay, good. Liz, if I pass out from pain in this workout, you need to call Chris. <laughs> I'm kidding. Everything's fine. We're just a little, we're just working through a little, uh, a little issue in the mouth right now. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, so I had a root canal like five years ago. And so my mouth thought that 2020 would probably be a good year to um, get infected. I guess that root canal wasn't completely finished or done right. So now it's infected and I have to wait until Monday <laughs> to see a specialist. <laughs> and my face is so swollen, you guys. All right, I can't sit this close to the camera anymore. I gotta back up. We're gonna get started. Okay, this morning we're gonna do chisel. As you can see, I've got a variety of dumbbells out here. Um, we're gonna work through a couple of different series, lower body, upper body. We'll go through each twice. Then we've got two full body and a core. Um, but really quick, I know some of us are using bands, so I just wanna go over really quickly how you will use them. Um, whenever we're doing a squat move, like we're going to start with a dumbbell squat. Just get the bands under the feet and find good tension. You may need to grab, if you have handle bands, you might need to grab below the handles, just somewhere that's going to give you good tension on the way up. It's the same thing if we're doing a lunging movement. Just have the band under your foot. And then for any of the upper body stuff, um, same thing, but you may only want one foot on the band because we'll be lifting it higher, meaning we're going to need um, a little more, a little less resistance. So if that makes sense. I will be demoing everything with dumbbells though. Okay, so chisel is a class that I taught at Vent Fitness. Hopefully when they open back up, I will teach it again. But um, it is an hour class. This one is not gonna be an hour. It'll be probably about a half hour. And it's just targeting different muscle groups. It's not a cardio class, um, but it's more cardio in a sense that it's not strict strength training where we're um, uh, where we're working in a like a rep range for a couple of sets and taking taking the required rest you're going lighter higher reps so you can think of it more as like a like a chisel you know like working into the muscle groups um, and focusing on on those specific groups cool so we'll get started with a quick warm-up and then we go How about music Morning. Nice big arm circles. Oh, wake up, open the chest up. Let's bend the knees and do that too. So on the way down, bend the knees. Stand and swing. One more like that. And then reverse it. See my friend behind me, He's ready to go. Buster got back yesterday. He's just loving his life. All right. A little side to side step, swing those arms. Okay. One, two, twist over the knee, and then go the other way. So it's twisting the upper body, get some rotation. Oh, this one. Twist. Okay, one more each side. Let's go feet wide, hands. 
hands out to the side. I want you to reach opposite toe. Come up, give me a little hop. Legs are almost straight. Right away, pulling that belly, that core nice and tight. You don't have to jump, you just come up onto the toes. Let's do one more each way. Keep those feet wide, hands on the hips, and scratch. Turn the feet out, drive the knees out, Let's put the hands in front, try to sink down a little bit lower each time, just nice, slow and controlled, getting warm, hips go back, belly's tight, two more, alright, we're going to lunge side to side. Lunges, hips stay back, just reach, opposite hand to foot. One more each way. Okay, bring those feet in. Excuse me, Buster. Frankenstein's up and over. Opposite arm, reach for opposite toe, flex that foot. side, and let's get some lunges, just alternating, step back, reverse lunge, we're not going to be doing any running or jumping, because my face hurts. Alright, one more each way, one more move, we're going to hinge and squat, hands behind the head. I want you to hinge, squat, and then reverse it, and stand, okay? So we go down to flat back, squat in the legs, straighten the legs, stand and squeeze, squat. Two more like that, hinge, send the hips back, squat, stand, one more, hinge, squat, stand, come up. Okay, we ready? Round one. We're going to start with the legs. So we're going to go through each um, move twice. We're going to start with dumbbell squats. We're not going to get super crazy and fancy with our moves today. We're going to do just like some straight up strength training, okay? So I'm going to go um, pretty heavy. Dumbbell squats, your feet are just underneath the hips, dumbbells right by the sides, and we just sit back into that squat, keeping the chest up, stand and squeeze, okay? Get okay, my timer going. We're going to work for a minute. And the tempo is I want you to think two counts on the way down and two counts on the way up. So really concentrating and squeezing. Three, two, one. Here we go. So two down, two up, stand and squeeze. Core is on. And I really want you to think about your posture right now. So we're not letting those shoulders roll in. We're locking the shoulder blades down the back and holding them there. Knees drive out. Big squeeze the glutes at the top. Two counts on the way down, two on the way up. About that tripod in your foot that you're pushing through. The heel, the ball, the foot, right underneath the pinky toe. Okay, we got about 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, stand and squeeze, and rest. Move two, stationary lunge. I'm going to drop the weight a little bit. We're going to be in our stagger stance. This foot is for balance and stability. All the work is happening on that front leg. Okay, driving in and out of the heel. 
Spine is straight. Three, two, one. We're going to go 45 seconds on each side. Still thinking about that posture in the back. Core is in nice and tight. You should already feel that back of that front leg waking up. Really think about driving out of the heel. She can turn that glute on. Make that booty do the work. Try not to push so much on that back leg. Think about lunges as a single leg squat. You got about five more seconds on this side and we'll switch. Three, two, one. Good, a little shake. Other side, set it up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down, same tempo as we did the dumbbell squats. Now reset the shoulders. All that focus and control. And remember, you do not have to use weights for these moves. You can just be doing body weight moves. And really focusing on your form. And squeezing. Good, keep moving. Got about 10 more seconds on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish whatever rep you're on, shake it up. Okay, move two. We're gonna go nice and wide, sumo squat. Dumbbells are gonna be in the middle and front. Go heavy again, toes out. Three, two, one. Two count down, two count up. You can hold two dumbbells, you can hold one heavy dumbbell. Don't forget about those shoulders, pull them back and down. Drive the knees out. Sit those hips back. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Belly button pulling towards your spine the whole time. About 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Last move. I gotta move you a little bit, bud. Oh, sorry. We're gonna go alternating front lunge. So, big step forward. Push off the ball of the foot to step back. Okay. Gonna drop the weight just a little bit. Three, two, one. Here we go. Alternate the legs. Step forward and switch. Don't rush these. Set your foot, drop down, push back and reset. Spine is straight. We're not pushing forward onto the knee. We're stepping and coming straight down. Pretend like there's two walls, one in front of you, one behind you, and your chest has to stay in between those walls. We're gonna go one more on each side. Step, straight down, push back, one more. And rest. All right. Repeat that whole series one more time. So we start with the dumbbell squats. If you want to go up and wait a little bit, drop away a little bit, do that now. We'll go right into it. Dumbbell squats. Then what? Stationary lunge, sumo squat, front lunge. One right into the next. Here we go. Three, two, one, two count down. Two on the way up and squeeze. So this is all about the legs here. The next block of work will be all about the arms. And then we're going to combine 
We'll do some full body moves and then we'll end with some core. Back is straight, chest is up, knees drive out. Three, two, one, and get set up for stationary lunge. One foot in front, one behind. Three, two, one. Here we go. Straight down, straight up. Push into the heel, drive out of the heel.
So we raise to the front, we work the front part of the shoulders. We pull out to the sides. And yes, we're putting tension on that middle of the shoulder, that middle part of the delt. But we're also getting a lot of chest work in here. You may even feel a little bit of squeeze in that back and in the rear part of the shoulder. 15 seconds. Belly's really tight. Three, two, one. Finish whatever rep you're on and rest. Okay, next move is an upright row. Dumbbells are right in front of you, and you're just gonna pull the elbows high, keeping those wrists straight. During all of our upper body moves, this is a really good time to squeeze your core, make every move a core move, and also squeeze your legs, your butt, get everything engaged. Make those muscles work while we're working the upper body. So we'll move on to upright row. I think we'll do 10. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice and slow. What I don't want is this. So don't pull your shoulders up into your neck. Big elbows high. And bring the dumbbells just above the knees. Shimmy if you got them. Alright, about 30 more seconds. Alright, we're squeezing everything. Squeeze the quads. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Lock it in tight. Okay, now everything's working. We're gonna come on down to the floor for a floor press. In three, two, and one. All right, get my mat. Go ahead and lay down on your back. I'm gonna do a little chest work. Okay, so. Back to the arms, hit the ground, we push to the top, we squeeze like right from the armpits, and then pull them out nice and wide, and go again. Floor press, in three, two, one, here we go. Big, big squeeze from the chest, and really resist on the way down. Pull the elbows wide. And guess what we can do down here? We vacuum that belly in. I want you to think about pulling belly button towards your spine. Suck it in. Smash that little back. Get some core work going here too. Okay, shoulder blades are pinned behind you. You got about 15 more seconds. Big squeeze. Pull and resist. Wrists are straight. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last move. We're going to stay on the floor and we're going to work the triceps with a skull crusher. Now, you can do this with one heavy dumbbell or two very light. I'm going to work with one. I'm going to hold it right over the shoulders and I'm going to bend just from the elbow. I'm going to take the dumbbell to the top of my head, and I'm going to lift from my triceps. Now, if you're just swinging it, you're not going to be focusing on just the backs of the arms right here. I know a couple of you commented on that, wanting to work that. Well, let's work it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bend from the elbows, and then lift from the triceps. We'll switch it up and show you another tricep move. I'm feeling it. Hope you are too. Just bending from the elbow. Lift from the tricep. Keep it stacked over the shoulders. Are you pulling that core in nice and tight? Belly's in tight. Elbows stay close. Don't let them flare out. We got about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. We're going to repeat 
that whole series, no rest. We go right in the front to laterals. In three, two, one. There we go. Because it's so annoying that I always have to start my clock over. I, still, I have to. I have to have it start from zero. I don't want to count a minute from 103. I don't want to figure out 45 seconds. It's got to be from zero. <laughs>
We'll work for about a minute on each move. We'll go through four moves. We'll finish with core and you'll be done. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Reverse lunge. Thruster. Push into that heel. Drive and press overhead. Now when you step back for your lunge, try to keep those elbows high. It's called the front rack position. Keep going. More than halfway there. Belly's tight. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Shake them out. All right, next. We haven't really done any hinging deadlifting moves. We're going to do a stiff leg deadlift. Trying to hang at the bottom in a rear delt fly. Okay? Put the back of the shoulders. I'm going to go a little bit heavier. We're going to do 10s for this one. All right, here we go. Three, two, soft knees. Send the hips back. Lift. Stand and squeeze the butt. Um, dumbbells facing each other. For this rear delt fly. Do not go any higher than shoulder height. Belly's tight. Feel the pull in the hamstrings. Squeeze at the top. Lift the dumbbells. Don't swing them. Hinge. Lift. Belly's tight. Big squeeze of the booty. Top 
20 seconds.
bellies are nice and tight. Don't push them out, pull them in. Final five, four, three, two, do one more. Okay, and then slowly come up, put your head above your heart, stretch out anything that's feeling a little tight this morning. A little tidbit of chisel for you. How's my face doing? Still pretty swollen, okay. I can't smile. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, friends. I'll see you on Monday. Hopefully I still have a tooth and less swelling. Have a great weekend.